Lesson 21, multiplying with fives and nines. In the last lesson, we talked about some rules to help remember the multiplication facts. Well, it turns out that there are more of these rules. There's a rule for multiplying by the number five. Turns out that any number times five equals a number that ends in five or zero. So if you're trying to multiply seven times five, you know the answer can't be something like 32. That won't work. 32 ends in two. And the answer has to end with a five or a zero. Now, why don't you answer this? In the problem eight times five, is it possible for the answer to be 41? You got it. There's no way the answer to eight times five can be 41 because any number times five has to end in five or zero. 41 ends in one, so that won't work. Here's something else about multiplying by five. If you forget one of your multiplication facts for five, you can always just start counting by fives, which is pretty easy. What if you forgot what five times seven was? You could just count five, 10, 15, 20, and then keep going until you reach the seventh number. That would be five times seven. Turns out to, to equal 35. Doing it that way is probably faster than looking up the answer in the multiplication table. And speaking of the multiplication table, let's take a look at that again. We've already talked about how it's easy to learn the multiplication facts for 0, 1, and 2, and then 5 isn't that hard either. So what's left? Well, how about the 9s? You might think the 9s are hard, but it turns out there's even a rule to help if you forget your 9s. Here's how it works. Let's say you want to multiply 9 times 6 and can't remember the answer. The first digit of the answer has to be 5. And you can see on the multiplication table that that's right. It shows the answer is 54. The first digit has to be always, when you're multiplying by 9, it has to be 1 less than the number that 9 is multiplied by. So with 9 times 6, the first digit of the answer has to be 6 minus 1, or 5. Does that make sense? Just to check, why don't you tell me what the first digit of the answer has to be for 9 times 3? That's right. The first digit is 2 because 3 minus 1 equals 2. Here's another one. What's the first digit of the answer to 9 times 7? Perfect. What about figuring out the second digit? Well, that's pretty easy, too. To get the second digit, you just take 9 minus the first digit. So if the first digit is 6, then the second digit has to be 9 minus 6, or 3. And that's why the answer to 9 times 7 is 63. You should already have that fact memorized, but if you forget it, you can use this rule. Now, one important thing is the rule works only through 9 times 10. So it's really just for the smaller numbers, but still pretty handy. Now, why don't you do one totally on your own? What's 9 times 4? Exactly right. And even if you'd forgotten this multiplication fact, you could have gotten the answer like this. The first digit has to be 4 minus 1, or 3. Then to get the second digit, take 9 minus 3, which is 6. So that's 36. We'll do one more quick one. What's 9 times 8? Awesome. Here's how you could get 72 if you had forgotten that fact. The first digit of 9 times 8 has to be 8 minus 1, or 7. And then the second digit has to be 9 minus 7, or 2. So that's 72. 